Hello everyone, and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today, we're looking at the suspicious Flynn family from Midnight Hollow. I personally love this one, and of course there's some dark stuff going on, including someone in the family being an imposter, so sit back, grab your snacks and your drinks, and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and like this if you enjoyed it. Alright, let's get straight into the video. So let's start off with introducing the Flynns. The household is made up of four members, Cora, Mitchell, and Maggie, who are all siblings, and Edmund, their, um, uncle. They live at 121 Poffold Place in Midnight Hollow. The family bio reads, When Jackson Bishop received a letter from the Flynn estate lawyer detailing the poor rich orphans who were coming to live with their long-lost uncle that they've never met, he decided this was his chance to improve his standing and become guardians of the children for their fortune. Good old Edmund Flynn passed in a tragic accident and the kids did need a guardian after all. He's just being charitable, right. So who is Jackson Bishop? And what happened to Edmund Flynn? Let's firstly take a look at where they live. The houses in Midnight Hollow are all Carpenter Gothic and American Revival Gothic, and this one is no exception. In this year's Halloween special, I went into a bit more detail about Midnight Hollow, so you could check that out if you haven't seen it already. So that being said, the Flynn's house is similar to the rest of the neighborhood in that it's pretty creepy looking. It's surrounded by really high concrete fencing and tiles that are similar to encaustic gothic revival tiles. There's a surprisingly bright and colorful backyard with a table and bench. Nearby, there's a parked car by the back porch. The interior of the house is very dark and gloomy. There are three bedrooms, four bathrooms, if you count this room with just a bath, which is kind of a continuation from this bathroom, a kitchen, a dining room, a living room, and a study slash library room. Nothing unusual here other than super unsettling vibes. Now let's dive in deeper and have a look at each family member. We'll start with Maggie, the eldest of the siblings. Maggie is a C high school student and is brave, good, and a computer whiz. Her favorites are indie music, French toast, and the color violet. Maggie has no skills despite the fact that she's a computer whiz. No surprise there, however, as the house doesn't really have any electronics for her to acquire those skills. Maggie is romantically involved with Joseph Doe, whose family I covered in the Halloween special. She's also friends with Joaquin Dorsey and Sarah Holden, but only acquaintances with Fausto and Marina Vasquez, Josie Crane, and Cornell Evans. Now onto the middle child, her brother Mitchell. Mitchell is a C elementary school student and is brave, a bookworm, and athletic. His favorites are classical music, Stu Surprise, and the color purple. He is friends with Joaquin Dorsey, Fausto Vasquez, Josie Crane, and Sarah Holden. Mitchell is acquaintances with Cornell Evans and Marina Vasquez. Okay, now on to Cora, their baby sister. Cora is good and a genius. Her favorites are pop music, fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, and the color blue. She is friends with Joaquin Dorsey and Josie Crane, and acquaintances with Fausto Vasquez and Sarah Holden. Finally, let's look at Edmund, or as the family bio says, Jackson Bishop. He is inappropriate, has commitment issues, dislikes children, is grumpy, and is evil. His favorites are classical music, lobster thermidor, and the color green, and he has three skill points in writing. Jackson is unemployed at the start of the game, and he has a lifetime wish of living in the lap of luxury. He is friends with Fausto Vasquez, Josie Crane, Sarah Holden, and Joaquin Dorsey. He is also acquaintances with Cornell Evans, Odessa Winchester, and Marina Vasquez. When we look at the family tree, we can see the kids in the household don't show up. He's not related to them in any way, so we know Edmund is not actually the kid's uncle. He also has some dire traits, so therefore dislikes the kids. So let's try and find the real Edmund Flynn. The bio says he was killed in a tragic accident. So where could he be? I've had a look around the Flynn's property, but no luck in finding Edmund's remains. So the ghastly graveyard is our next stop. The graveyard itself is surrounded by a blood red forest, which makes things even creepier. 
Looking through all of the gravestones, I have no luck, so I gave up on the cemetery and looked around town. Maybe it was a case of Edmund being buried somewhere unusual, like a community lot, similarly to the case of Macy Clay, who was buried in the local laundromat's parking lot in Twinbrook. I also have a video on that, so I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. So I looked around for ages, but to my dismay, Edmund's gravestone was nowhere to be found. Then I thought to go back to the cemetery. Maybe I had missed something. And of course I did, my blind eye missed the gravestone completely because, amongst the other remains, I see Edmund Flynn's headstone. It's as if they almost didn't want us to find it. Or maybe I should have done better detective work. In fairness, when I saw all of these headstones saying remains, I didn't think there would be any pre-made deceased sims here. Anyway, I wanted to see Edmund's traits, so after resurrecting him, I found out he has a bio, which not many pre-made deceased sims have. This reads, Here lies Edmund Flynn, beloved friend, inventor, and uncle. Edmund was an elder when he passed away, and as we can see on his gravestone, he died by drowning. Edmund had a good sense of humor, loved the outdoors, was good, athletic, and friendly. From his tombstone, we know he completed his lifetime wish of becoming the CEO of a mega corporation. We also know he was an inventor, according to his bio. So what happened to the real Edmund Flynn? Did he really die from an accidental drowning? Or did Jackson Bishop kill him? Interestingly, this whole story sounds very familiar. My first guess was of course Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Personally, I haven't read the books, but growing up I loved the Jim Carrey film from 2004 and would watch it religiously every couple of months. I tried watching the 2017 Netflix show starring Neil Patrick Harris, but I can't get into it for some reason, so if you guys have seen it, let me know if I should stick it out. For those of you who aren't familiar with the novels, film, or TV series, it follows the story of the Baudelaire children, Violet, Klaus, and Baby Sunny, narrated by fictional character Lemony Snicket, which is actually a pen name for the actual author, Daniel Handler. The children become homeless and orphaned after their parents die in a tragic house fire in their family home. Some mistake is made with their rehoming process, and they're sent off to live with Count Olaf, a so-called distant uncle who turns out isn't a family member, but is posing as one to inherit the children's fortune. Count Olaf basically tries to murder them several times, but the children are incredibly smart and hone a great deal of skill, so they manage to escape every single time. The children soon find out that Count Olaf was actually part of a secret society called VFD, Volunteer Fire Department, alongside their parents. As it turns out, Count Olaf devised a schism that broke the organization into a fire starting side, and he was the one who burned down the Baudelaire mansion. A bunch of other stuff is revealed and happens, but that's the main gist of things. So I really think the Flynn household, with its Victorian Gothic tones, background story, and similar looking characters, is an obvious reference to the book series. There are several similarities, one being Maggie, Mitchell, and Cora are based on Violet, Klaus, and Sunny, respectively. Edmund is Dr. Montgomery Montgomery, the children's actual relative, and Jackson Bishop is Count Olaf. Also, Maggie's favorite color is Violet, so that might be a little clue. There's another clue as well, which is really cool, but fairly creepy. At the end of Poffold Street, where the Flynns live, there seems to be another house. However, your sims can't visit or move into it. On closer inspection, the house is disheveled and looks burnt. I went exploring a bit and had a look inside. The detail is so good as well. I think this is the biggest clue we have next to the backstory. The large amount of friends Jackson has might also reference Count Olaf's henchmen and accomplices. Let's get into some of the theories as to what might have happened to the real Edmund. In the books, after Count Olaf's several failed attempts to attain the children's fortune, they went into the care of their closest living relative, Dr. Montgomery Montgomery, a herpetologist. The children really like Monty and were invited to accompany him to Peru to study snakes. 
However, when Monty's original assistant Gustav doesn't show up for the trip, he hires Stefano, who is actually Count Olaf in disguise. The children can see this and try to warn Monty, but Count Olaf murders him and manages to escape. The assistant Gustav has a very similar fate to that of Edmund Flynn in The Sims, as Count Olaf drowns Gustav in the swarthy swamp, so I think that's a huge clue right there. I personally think Jackson Bishop managed to drown Edmund and got away with stealing his identity. The kids know this and they despise him. I have literally no other theories because I think that we've cracked the case. But I really love the depth of this backstory in this family. There was a clear reference here, just like most, if not all, families in Midnight Hollow. I think the gameplay possibilities with this household are really fun and creative and definitely don't conform to normal Sims gameplay. Alright guys, there you have it. Lots of info on the Flynn family and its imposter. I'd love to know how you play with this household, so let me know in the comments below. I'd like to thank my patrons Olivia McSwain, Negative Dana, Papa Khan, Leo Thompson, Artsy Flashback, Nathan Lim, Caitlin Luigi, Nicole Dante, Mr. Netch, A Wild Kitty Cat, and Shanique. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more lore and updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!